Given the hate expressed in recent mass shootings, we surely need today's message of the forever friends of truth and love. I'm David Bridgman sharing worship in 360. If you have a Bible or a Bible app, go ahead and open to 2 John. Though 2 John is the shortest book in the Bible, it contains powerful and relevant counsel. Here's how it begins in verse 1. This letter is from John, the elder. I am writing to the chosen lady and to her children, whom I love in truth. John writes to his good friend, the chosen lady. And John reminds her, reminds us, to live in truth and love. See, the church in the first century had the same issues we have inside the church and outside the church. God knows that without the forever friends of love and truth, we humans have a tendency to harm, hurt, and even kill one another. So this postcard, or Instagram if you prefer, flies across the centuries and lands in our communities and our churches and our families and our businesses. These inseparable friends of love and truth create life. You know, there are things that just go together and make life better. Bacon and eggs, cheese and wine, peanut butter and jelly, rum and coke, biscuits and gravy, rock and roll, Batman and Robin. These are not opposites. Rather, they need each other. They belong together. They are like forever friends. So it is with truth and love. They go together and need each other. See, if I only live in love, I tend to become mushy, without any boundaries to keep me or others in check. And if I only live in truth, I tend to become hardened without listening to the heart and the story of life. So friends, let's load up the magazines of our hearts and our minds with love and truth. And then there just won't be any room for the ammo of hate and selfishness. Love and truth, these forever friends, are embodied in and available through Jesus. So look at verse 2 of 2 John. The truth lives in us and will be with us forever. See, when Jesus lives in you, the truth lives in you. And it's why Jesus instructed us there in verse 5 of 2 John, we should love one another. This is not a new commandment, but one we have had from the beginning. Now, how is it we keep truth and love active? Let me provide a couple of ways. First is through worship songs, whether you attend a worship service on Sunday or use our Spotify, Spotify playlist, it'll tune you into God's frequency. A second way is to build authentic relationships with others where you can test and learn about these forever friends of truth and love. So if you're not in a small group right now, go ahead and register for our upcoming all church study. It's called Route 66, a road trip through the Bible of truth and love, and there's space for you. A third way to keep truth and love active is to serve others. So we're going to participate in a wall build on, the, on our parking lot at Jerome Church. I encourage you to sign up because we're going to need 120 people. And by participating in this house build, we will change our community and change the life of one family forever. I want to leave us with a description of love from the Bible. It's found in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable and keeps no record of wrong. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up, never loses hope, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. Thanks for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you right here next week.